met the guys, started a friendship there. I go out there, let's go to this studio, and they're like, all right, there's a drum set. We'll bring in Slipknot in like 20 minutes. Is that cool? <laughs> like, yeah, okay, that's cool. Just from going on muscle memory from when I was like 14, 15 in my shed, we played about like 20 Slipknot songs. It was like, all right, man, if you want, if you want this, it's yours. I started playing drums when I was about 14. Uh, we had, my family had a, a drum set like in our basement and um, I just started playing that. I played guitar uh, when I was nine and had lessons that I just didn't like. And, uh, and so I just picked it up because um, we had it lying around and just started kind of playing along to Ramones records and Metallica records and stuff like that. Um, it essentially kind of consumed my life. Uh, when I got into high school, I started making bands and, and just kind of playing shows and stuff. Real or fake? Real. Best supervillain? Venom. Katy Perry or Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift. Bourbon or tequila? Uh, water. Favorite new artist? Oh, uh, baby metal. I think maintaining like a balance of like mental health for myself is, you know, I have the loud, bombastic, crazy energetic and, and you know, energy depleting way of playing drums and playing music. And almost in the antithesis to that, it is as energetic as playing drums and focusing, you know, expression and, and passion and love for, uh, for creating something, but it's, it's a total yin to that yang. It's like very quiet, very meditative, you know, oil painting when you're just doing layer after layer after layer. 